Hi, this is Anthony with a review on Firefox 41, which Mozilla released on September 22, 2015. This new browser update comes with several enhancements and changes, including bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities, over 3,500 in all. When Firefox 40 was released, Mozilla had announced some changes in terms of enhancing the security of the browser by introducing extension signing in an effort to counter malicious downloads via add-ons or extensions. Essentially, when installing add-ons that are not signed or approved by Mozilla, users will receive a warning message similar to this one. That set a timeline, and it was expected that in Firefox 41, Mozilla would disable these extensions by default unless users override it in the config or about config options. However, they have now changed the timeline, pushing this back to Firefox 43, which I believe is a good move. Firefox Hello has also been enhanced, which is Mozilla's browser-based online chat service. They have now included instant messaging, so now you can voice and video chat, screen share, and also instant message. If you've not used Firefox Hello, you can check this video to learn more. In Firefox 41, users who have a Firefox account have the ability to add a profile picture or avatar. If you have a Firefox account, just log into it. If not, you can create one. Uh, check the link in the description section. So once logged in, uh, you basically just click on this Add button and then upload your picture. You will then see the picture or avatar displayed. One change I was not happy about was the removal of the Firefox preference to customize a new tab URL. Now this preference allowed users to customize the new tab to open any web page by modifying this preference. So basically now if you want to do that you would have to install or include a Firefox extension or add-on like for example the new tab override. In a moment I will share the browser benchmark test results basically comparing Firefox and Google Chrome. But before I do that, let me quickly share some of the other changes that were included in Firefox 41. So you can now use SVG or vector images as favicons. Firefox 41 comes with enhanced IME support, which is Input Method Editor, for Windows using TSF or Text Services Framework, which essentially uh, makes it easier for users who use Firefox in other languages like Chinese or Japanese. There were also some HTML5 changes and changes for developers as well. The HTML5 changes were mostly technical, so I will not get into the details, and similarly the changes for developers. You can check the description section of this video for the link to the detailed Firefox 41 release notes. Okay, so now let me share with you the browser test results. So as you can see from the overall score, Google Chrome has performed better than Firefox overall. For most of the test scores were relatively close, but on the graphics test, as you can see, Firefox did not perform well. Uh, the graphics tests measure GPU performance and include HTML5 Canvas, WebGL, and SVG. Of course, these uh, benchmark test results scores will be different for different computers, so your scores will be probably different than mine. So that's pretty much it in terms uh, of the ch um, you know major or notable changes in Firefox 41. You will find my previous Firefox reviews as well as tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check them out. And I uh, hope you found this review useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Cheers for now.